All right, look, you know, Morgan did call Dominic on his own, just mm -hmm. like he could get those tickets on his own. Hi. Hello. I just, I just think, you know, he, with Michael gone, he's trying to be strong and independent so we don't have to worry about him. Yeah, well, it worries me more when Morgan uses poor judgment. Yeah. Well, Dominic did help out. I mean, he did bring Morgan home. Yeah. But that could have been a calculated move. I mean, you never thought, thought well, why about that. Why would he that? bother? Why would he bother? To score points with a sonny, of course. I don't know. I don't get that. And I have really good instincts. Why are we even talking about this? I mean, he's safer. Uh, he's safer with more. Okay. Mo okay. You're Look, right. don't. He's. You're right. You're right. <sighs> what about Michael? Are you hear anything? No. Jason will find them. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we'll do everything we can to protect Morgan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like pretending to get a text message saying your meeting was canceled so you could take him to the ball game. No, no, I, I did cancel the meeting. Right, to get rid of Dominic. Well, to... Whoa, what? Look at that. What a coincidence. I just got a text message right when I was about to tell this guy to shove it. How about that? What are you saying? I should keep my day job? Yes, you should. I hope you're better with business negotiations. Yes, look at me. Ruthless corporate raider reduced to pushover daddy and husband. Mm, you know what? I love it. Really? Works for me. Hmm. Okay. Hey. Hey. Perfect timing. You coming in? I would love to, but I still got some work I got to do for Bernie. But I got a question for you. I figured I'd ask you in person. Mm. Sounds serious. It is. How about, uh... How about a dinner date? A date? Yeah. You know, you, me, a restaurant. Hmm. <laughs> Aren't you the gentleman? <laughs> I figured we always meet here, or at my garage, or at Jake's for a quick drink. I thought we'd actually go out. Hey, if you need to think about it, I, I get it. Oh, why are you? You're afraid I'm embarrassed to be seen with a younger man, or what? <laughs> no, I'm, maybe you don't want to broadcast that you're dating what Spinelli would call the vile vespid or <laughs> the mob prince. I'd love to go. You sure? Look, why don't we just not overthink this, okay? You want to take me out on a date? Yeah. I want to go. Then it's a date. Thank you. You need an help picking up detergent. Thanks, I got all the laundry help I need. Oh, and the added bonus of help of the Corinto Cigar investigation. Are you gonna stop talking to Riddles or what? Your mother called Gorski, demanded a meeting with me. She's one maternal instinct away from blowing the whole operation. All right, I'll talk to her. Oh, yeah. Well, no, that ought to help. Well, what did she say? The same thing she's been saying all along. She wants you off this case. <laughs> and you told her it was out of question. <laughs> You're investigating two guys she's personally involved with. She's sleeping with one of them, God's sakes. That has got to mess with your head. No, wait, wait a minute. We, we've already been through this, but we can go through it again if you want. There is no chance that I will protect John Zakara or Sonny Quintos to spare my mother's feelings. It's a messy situation. You can't be objective. Yeah, sure I can. It's called a job. I got a lot riding on the success of this investigation. There's no way I'm jeopardizing it. I'm going to ask Gorski to reassign you. You tell Lieutenant Gorski, everything's out of control. Things are moving along like clockwork. The more you get involved, the closer you are to winding up dead. You know, what is with you, Ronnie? Why are you let my mother spook you? She's right. Sonny's not a guy to mess with. Oh, God, she doesn't want Johnny and Sonny getting busted. She's worried about you. No, she told me that herself. She feels sympathy for those guys. She doesn't think they deserve to be in prison. When have I ever blown an operation? We've been on dozens of cases together. I've proven my... But this one's different. If I say I can pull this off, I can. And you could do just as well on another operation. And you might live to tell about it. You know, Sonny's youngest kid wants me to take him to a Yankees game? You know any other undercover cop that's gotten that far into Sonny's inner circle? No. No, then let's not throw this all away on a case of motherly overprotectiveness. But you tell your mother, she sticks her nose in this one more time, I'm gonna have Gorski yank you out of here so fast your head'll spin. Open up. I 
cannot believe you pulled this. I didn't gather you spoke to Ronnie. You called my lieutenant and asked him to yank me off the case? Are you nuts? I've been keeping you away from sharp objects and plastic bags since before you could walk. Yeah, and now I'm an adult, and my work is none of your damn business. Hey, watch your mouth. Look, you had no right. This is my career. Yeah, and your career is way too dangerous. Look, he, I, I've been on dozens of cases before, and you've always stayed cool. But now, now that you're personally involved, you call a lieutenant to try and get me taken off the investigation? Here is the reality of the situation. You are an undercover cop gathering information to bring down one of my oldest and dearest friends and the man that I happen to be going out for dinner with tonight. Okay, this thing has got disaster written all over it. For you! For you, too! You want to know what happens to people who betray Sonny Corinthos? He kills them first, he asks questions later. I know, Ma! It's on uh, the, the list of top 20 reasons why Sonny Corinthos should spend the rest of his life in prison. Fine. Then you let some other cop put him there. No, this is my case that I've been building. And, and, and I happen to have principles, unlike my own mother. Wow. Thank you very much. You know, maybe, maybe you got a soft spot for thugs. I, I don't know, but my job is to uphold the law, and there's nothing you can say that's going to stop me from doing it.